In this tutorial, we will be creating a 3D space from a 2D image using FSpy and Blender. FSpy is used for camera matching or camera calibration in an image. It basically calculates the approximate focal length, position and rotation of the camera. Now, let us start by dragging and dropping an image into it. First of all, go to this dim image and uncheck it. You can see two red lines and two green lines on the image. Red lines refer to x-axis and green lines to y-axis. We can also have a blue line which belongs to z-axis. We will see that later. We generally take this horizontal line as x-axis, this line as y and the vertical one as z. In this particular image, we will align these two corner lines with y-axis lines. And as I cannot see a good feature for x-axis line, we will align these two pillar lines with z-axis. To change this x-axis lines, just go to the vanishing point axis and select z instead of x. Now, let us do the alignments. Hold down shift while moving a point to zoom that portion which will help to place it properly. After the alignment is done, go to 3D guide and select XY grid flow. This will help to see if the alignment is good or not. You may notice this Z line is going downwards which means our camera is upside down. In order to fix this, just change Z to minus Z. Now, adjust your points a bit more to align this grid with the image properly. After getting the alignments right, we will now save this file. For that, Press Ctrl S or go to File, then Save. Make sure to give it the right format which is .fspy. For example, I will name this file as tutorial.fspy. Now, we are done with fspy and it is time to import this file in Blender. For that, we need to download the required add-in from fspy website. Link has been given below in the description. Download and install that add-in in Blender. After installing the add-in, we can now import that fspy file into Blender. You can see that a camera has been added with that image as background image. We will now start making our 3D space by referring to this image. First of all, add a plane and scale it accordingly. You may go to edit mode and move edges to align them with the image.
do some loop cuts to match the edges properly. After creating the 3D space, we will now add texture to it. We have added a principal BSTF shader. Go to base color and click on image texture. Then Click on this linked image option and choose the same image that has been used as background of camera. Next, go to modifier and add UV project modifier. There, select UV map as UV map and for projector, select the imported camera. Then, we need to match the aspect ratio. So, go to output property to see the resolution. Here, we have a resolution of 1920 into 1279. So, if we divide 1920 by 1279, we will get 1.5011. Get back to UV project modifier and put that value in aspect x. We cannot see much changes in distortion till now because we need to subdivide our 3D space several times. So go to edit mode and then select all, right click and subdivide it several times and you may see the texture is getting accurate. Do some more subdivisions to get it placed properly. After getting it right, Go to material section again and change specular to 0 and roughness to 1. Then add some lights to your scene and try to match them with image lights properly. Finally, you may see your 3D space extracted from a 2D image. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing.